good morning today we will uh, we will discuss what is data mining and its concepts and various techniques of data mining so now we will see why we will use data mining we will use data mining because in the modern age we are generating uh, more and more amounts of data we are generating the data in variety of ways uh, like uh, it, it may be streaming data it may be image data it may be text or it may be uh, social media data or or it may be a transactional data like that we are uh, generating much amount of data nowadays maybe from terabytes to we are generating some petabytes of data every day to process uh, this kind of data we need to use some technique or we need to use data mining concepts so the data collection and data availability so automated data collection tools we will use uh, to process such kind of data uh, before the before data mining uh, we process uh, this data by using database systems web and computerized society so but nowadays what we are doing is we are generating a uh, vast amount of data as we discussed earlier the major sources of uh, this data may be uh, some business applications like web e-commerce transactions stocks etc regarding uh, science applications remote sensing bioinformatics scientific simulation etc and society and everyone we, we we are regularly using or we are regularly browsing news we will use some digital cameras some youtube videos or some facebook whatsapp like that so every day we are generating huge amount of data so uh, if i am saying is that we are drawing in data but storing for knowledge means we are generating uh, huge amounts of data but uh, we are unable to fetch knowledge from them or it is difficult to fetch knowledge from that uh, huge amount of data or it is difficult to fetch information from that huge amount of data so this requirement uh, paves the way for data mining techniques or to use data mining okay so this is the history before data mining before 1600 uh, we used empirical science from 1600 to 1950 we used theoretical science means theoretical models often motivate experiments and generalize our understanding from 1915s to 1960 and 1990s we, we will uh, we used computational science now we are using data science in that data mining plays a major role okay this is the evolution of database technology in 1960s we did, we used data collection data base creation ms and network dmms etc in 1970s database systems are introduced like relational data model relational dbms dbms is implemented in 1960s in 1980s uh, rdbms packages and advanced data models are introduced in 1990s uh, data mining techniques data warehousing multimedia databases and web databases are uh, introduced in 2000s uh, streaming data is produced uh, we need to manage streaming data and uh, streaming data mining data mining and its applications web technology different kind of web technologies like xml data integration and global information uh, systems etc we are used so that uh, to mine this vast amount of data uh, we are going for data mining so how data mining is, uh, is used and what is data mining so data mining is nothing but uh, uh to simply say to discover a knowledge from the data so we are drawing in huge amount of data but the information is uh, uh, it is difficult to get the information from the data okay 
okay data mining paves the way to discover knowledge from that uh, huge amount of data so by using data mining we will extract the interesting facts and interesting patterns or we can say knowledge from the large or huge amounts of data so for this data mining we have some alternative names like knowledge discovery or we can say simply a mining or knowledge extraction data or pattern analysis data archaeology data dredging information harvesting business intelligence etc like that uh, we have many alternative name, uh, names for data mining systems or data mining so this uh, represents a simple uh, knowledge discovery process in data mining so what actual uh, actually we will do in data mining systems so this view is typical for database systems and data warehousing communities so data mining plays a, uh, an essential role in knowledge discovery process how we will uh, get the knowledge from data means so observe the uh, observe in the diagram uh, in this area we have um, several databases means we have large amounts of data and this may be integrated or collected from various sources like may the, this data may be web database or maybe streaming database or maybe social network database or a combination of all these databases so in the first step we need to integrate all this data means uh, we need to integrate data coming from different sources after that we need to clean the data so we have different techniques uh, to clean the data that we will discuss in this lecture so after gathering this data we need to clean the data then uh, it uh, we can build a data warehouse after that we will select a task relevant data from this data warehouse after selecting a task relevant data we will apply different data mining techniques to understand to or to acquire or to gather pattern evaluation so after applying this uh, data mining techniques uh, we can able to observe different patterns so that is nothing but a knowledge okay so this represents whole knowledge discovery process of data mining so for example take uh, web mining framework so it involves uh, different uh, steps which we discussed in the previous slide those are nothing but data cleaning we may have to integrate data from multiple sources after that we, we have to construct or we will build a data warehouse after that we may construct data cube after that we will select data selection so uh, we will select some data from data mining systems after that we mine the data after mining we will get some interesting facts or patterns that we present the mining results in the last step patterns and knowledge to be used or sorted into the knowledge base this is a simple example so how we will use data mining process in business intelligence this uh, diagram represents how different uh, uh, technical people or different kinds of people will use uh, data mining systems so this slide uh, depicts data mining versus uh, data exploration so this is typically the kdd process which we discussed in the previous slide we will uh, input data after that we will perform data preprocessing so after that we will apply different data mining techniques like association correlation classification clustering outliers patterns and discovery etc after applying all these techniques we will get some post processing data that can be used for pattern evaluation pattern selection pattern interpretation pattern visualization etc from there uh, we will get actual knowledge from the data 
so this is a typical view of a kdd process so where we will use uh, this data mining technique or this data mining so we will use in variety of fields like healthcare and uh, online transactions and classification and clustering and in variety of fields so we will use this data mining techniques next so we saw some introductory part in the slides we will discuss some concepts uh, these are all concepts are theoretical only uh, you can see uh, what i am uh, telling in your screens okay so first we will discuss fundamentals of data mining so already uh, i discussed these fundamentals in the slides just go through this just pause the video and uh, see what is there in fundamentals of data mining this already we discussed in the slides so now we will see what are various data mining functionalities so the data mining functionality is referred to different tasks and operations that data mining techniques can perform and uh, why we will perform this technique means uh, to uh, extract valuable information and knowledge from the data sets so we have different type of uh, data mining functionalities those are uh, uh, divided into descriptive data mining predictive data mining and prescriptive data mining so in uh, descriptive data mining we have different techniques like data summarization data visualization association rule mining etc data summarization means so we will create a concise representation of data by computing some statistical calculations like mean uh, median mode standard deviation and variance etc so after summarizing the data uh, we have uh, some data visualization techniques like so we will uh, plot or we will draw some uh, scatter uh, scatter plots histograms bar charts etc to visualize the information uh, which we have to present after that we will apply some association rule mining in descriptive data mining for example uh, in market basket analysis identifying frequently purchased items together so we will apply some association rules on this data after that we have predictive data mining in predi uh, the predictive data mining uh, involves classification regression analysis and uh, time series analysis in classification what we will do is we will classify different kinds of things or uh, subject of uh, interested subject of things for example uh, we classifying emails as spam or non spam this is one example for classification like that uh, we will uh, classify the interested data into different categories we will also perform regression analysis uh, in predictive data mining for example predicting price of a house based on its uh, features and we will also perform time series analysis for example uh, st uh, stock price prediction or uh, demand for forecasting for a particular thing etc all will be performed in predictive data mining after that we have uh, prescriptive data mining in prescriptive data mining what we will do is we will go beyond prediction by suggesting actions or recommendations to the optimized outcomes so in predictive data mining we will use decision trees some recommendation systems some optimization techniques decision trees means uh, the, this will represent various outcomes based on uh, some conditions we will see what are decision trees later so simply the decision uh, tree uh, divides various outcomes based on some conditions next we have some recommendation systems uh, this is commonly used in e-commerce platforms or some content recommendation engines like uh, uh, for example if we use netflix um, uh, the netflix will suggest uh, based on your interest uh, it will suggest the videos based on your interests like that uh, data mining is used for this kind of recommendation systems also and some optimization techniques 
So means identifying the best possible solution for set of alternator based on some uh, criteria. There may be uh, we will define some criteria based on that criteria. It will suggest best technique that is optimized for your situation. This is often used in resource allocation, log logistics, and supply chain management. So these are all various functionalities of data mining. After that, we have a classification of data mining system means how we classify different data mining systems. So we have different data mining systems. Uh, actually, we have classified into various types based on their functionalities, applications, and architectures. So based on functionalities, we have uh, de three different uh, data mining systems like descriptive data mining systems, predictive data mining system, prescriptive data mining systems, and application oriented data mining systems. So these all are comes under, sorry, uh, based on data mining functionalities, we have three kinds of data mining systems like uh, Descriptive data mining systems, predictive data mining systems, and uh, prescriptive data mining systems. In descriptive data mining systems, uh, the, what they will do is these systems focuses on summarizing and describing the main characteristics of data. In predictive data mining system, these uh, these systems aim to make predictions about uh, future events or outcomes based on historical data. Means they uh, these systems will predict like whether the rain will fall tomorrow or not. Like that, these predictions will be uh, made by predictive database, uh, predictive data mining systems. Next, prescriptive data mining systems. These systems go beyond predictions by providing recommendations or suggesting outcomes. Next, we have application-oriented data mining systems. Those are retail data mining systems, healthcare data mining systems, financial data mining systems. Marketing data mining systems, social data mining systems, etc. So, what they will do is there in this uh, space, you can pass the video and see what they will do. Next, we have architectural classification data mining systems. We have different architectural classification data mining systems like standalone data mining systems, integrated data mining systems, etc. So, standalone data mining system, what they will do is uh, these are independent software tools specially designed for data mining tasks. They offer user friendly interfaces to interact with data and perform some kind of analysis. So these are uh, standard data mining systems. So integrated data mining systems, what they will do is these are the systems uh, which are integrated with existing database systems or data warehouse platforms. So these systems will provide seamless data access and analysis capabilities within the same environment. Next we have scalability classification. Uh, based on scale we will classify the systems like small scale data mining systems, large scale data mining systems etc. Next we have domain specific classification. In domain specific classification we have general data mining systems and specialized data mining systems. So the general data mining system means these systems offer a wide range of functionalities and can be applied to various domains and industries. The specialized data mining systems are tailored for specific industries or applications. And these specialized data mining systems are a domain specific systems. Uh, they will uh, use some domain specific algorithms and tools. And next, what are the different data mining tasks we will uh, perform or what are different data mining task primitives are available. So in data mining process, so we, uh, we will perform different task primitives like uh, uh, we will uncover the patterns hidden in the, uh, hidden in the data, we will uncover the relationships which are hidden in the data and insights with, a, with the different data. So the main primitives are uh, characterization, discrimination, association, rule mining, classification, clustering, prediction, outlayer dissection time series analysis etc. We will discuss uh, what, is, uh, what, are, what are all these things one by one. Characterization means uh, it involves uh, some summar uh, summarizing the general properties of the data in terms of uh, common attributes or features. So it helps in understanding the overall nature of the data set without specifying any particular class or category. So consider an example, uh, characterization might involve 
summarizing customer demographics or uh, purchasing pre- uh, frequencies etc so in discrimination uh, we will focus on uh, some classification kind of things for example uh, email classification or discrimination uh, to identify the features that differentiate spam mails from legitimate mails so these are all uh, comes under discrimination next association rule meaning means for instance uh, in market basket analysis what we are doing we are applying some association rules to uncover the likely patterns of uh, buyers behavior for example uh, when a customer would buy bread he also likely to buy a butter so these kind of uh, patterns we will uh, uh, acquire by using association rule meaning next we will is we will use classification means classifying different kinds of things for example classifying whether an email is spam email or uh, not like that we will perform different uh, classification methods after that clustering clustering means grouping of uh, similar data instances or similar data items together leaving the items which are not uh, similar to this kind of data that is clustering uh, prediction it involves estimating future values or trends based on historical data for example predicting future stock prices based on historical market stock market data outliers detection outliers are, are nothing but uh, the objects which are not related to uh, some uh, particular groups for example um, uh, for fraud detection out, uh, the outliers could be unusual transactions that might indicate fraudulent activities time series analysis means time series analysis deals with the data collected over time and aims to uncover patterns trends and seasonably in temporal data for instance analyzing stock market data to predict uh, price trends over time so uh, in this way we will uh, we will use different data mining task primitives and integrating integrating the data mining systems with database or data warehouse systems uh, so how we will uh, integrate the different sources of data that we will discuss in this concept so actually uh, we have various kinds of data those data we must integrate to analyze or uh, we must integrate to acquire uh, different kinds of knowledge or different kinds of patterns so in integration we will uh, have different kinds of st- um, steps like uh, data access and retrieval data preprocessing that you will see in the next class what is data preprocessing so efficient queries and sampling real time analysis data integration metadata utilization etc performance optimization result storage and visualization scalability automated data refresh etc so uh, when we are integrating data from multiple sources to analyze uh, the data we will perform all these uh, tasks before integration okay next uh, what are the major issues in data mining means uh, when we are integrating uh, data from different sources we, we may face different difficulties like data quality when we are going for integration like pure quality of data can lead to inaccurate and unreliable results when we are integrating we may face different uh, challenges like suppose in one database the data birth is saved like only with year in another database the data birth may be saved as month year and date when we are integrating uh, bo- both these data we, we may face some difficulties and we have data privacy and security problems and we have scalability problems and we have complex city of data types such as uh, for example text images videos and sensor data uh, require specialized techniques to analysis so that we for that we have to develop algorithms to handle and uh, interpret these kind of diverse data and dimensionality curves means uh, 
uh, we will see what is dimensionality and uh, what is dimensionality reduction in the next class means uh, from huge amount of data we will select some sample of data neglecting different dimensions after that we will analyze that sample to acquire the results or acquire the interesting patterns and wall fitting and model interoperability bias and fairness lack of domain knowledge changing data distribution interoperability versus accuracy trade off ethical and legal concerns human bias in labeling etc so all these are different issues in data mining so uh, with this i will stop this lecture and in the next lecture we will see what is data processing thank you